Hello, welcome to lesson number one. For grade 10 mathematics, we're going to talk about arithmetic sequence. Sequence of numbers. Tapos, what I want you to do is to look for the next three terms. So, this will be the first one. So, next three terms. Number two, we have this one. Mas pinili ko na isulat yung mga given dito para at least maramdaman nyo na nasa classroom setting kayo kasi madalas sa mga napapanood ko na video videos, automatic nakasulat na lahat eh, tapos uh, fill in na lang sagutan na lang, but this time I want to make videos na mukhang nasa loob kayo ng classroom at pumili din ako ng mga libreng background na mukhang chalkboard para at least maramdaman nyo na nasa classroom kayo Okay, so I want you to pause the video, sagutan nyo muna, and then balik kayo afterwards. Okay. So for this one, 3, 7, 11, 15. Yeah, tama kayo. nag add lang tayo ng 4. So 15 plus 4, that's 19. Plus 4 again, 23. Plus 4, we have 27. Tama Okay. For this one, number 2, decreasing. Hindi pala. Increasing pala to. So, nag add tayo ng 3 ba? Yeah. Plus 3, plus 3, plus 3, plus 3. So, negative 9 plus 3, it's negative 6. Negative 3, negative 3 plus 3, that's 0. 0 plus 3, that's 3. So, plus 3 again. Plus 3, 3 plus 3, that is 6. Plus 3, that is 9 plus 3. That is 12. Okay. This one, 5, 10, 20. So if you're thinking a 5, para maging 10 plus 5. Then suddenly, hindi na siya plus 5, no? Naging plus 10 na siya. So, mukhang hindi yun yung rule. So, yeah, you're correct. Times 2. So, 5 times 2. Count, can become 10. Times 2, that's 20. So, times 2, it becomes 40 times 2, 80, times 2, it's 160. For number 4, 2, 1, and then side it becomes... Okay, correct. Na, di-divide lang sa 2. So, di 2 divided by 2, that's 1. Divide 2 ulit. That's 1 half. Divide 2. 1 half divided by 2. Okay. Dividing a number by 2 is the same as multiplying it by 1 half. So... 2 times 1 half, that's 1. 1 times 1 half, that's 2. 1 half times 1 half, that's 1 fourth. 1 fourth times 1 half, that's 1 over 8. 1 eighth times 1 half, 1 over 16. Okay, good. How about number 5 and number 6? Number 5, 1 third, 1 over 7, 1 over 11, 1 over 15. Yeah, tama kayo kung mapansin nyo, parang kamukha lang siya ng number 1, kaso nga lang, mukhang reciprocal, no? Ni-reciprocal, hindi pala mukhang reciprocal, ni-reciprocal pala. So, in short, after this one, you will get 1 over 19, kasi ba plus 4 lang ng plus 4. 4, 4, 4, 19, so 1 over 23, then 1 over 27, 8, 8, 16, 24. 8, 8, 16, 24. What will be the next one? 8, 8, 16, 24. Okay. Yeah, tama. To get 16, you need to add 8 and 8. So, that's 8 plus 8. So, to get this one. To get 24, you add 8 and 16. 8 plus 16. So, basically, to get to the next term, you add. You, you need to add the two previous terms. So, pa, para makapunta ka dun sa next term, kailangan mong kuhanin yung sum ng dalawang mas nahuli or mas naunang terms. So, to get this term, you need to add 16 and 24. So, 24 plus 16, that is 40. Tama ba? 40 ba yan? 6, 4, 10, 1, 40, correct. 40 times, oh, 40, sorry, 40 plus 24, that is 64. 
And then 64 plus 40, that is 104. Basically, 1 and 2. This one, 1 and 2. Uh, 1 and 2. These are all arithmetic sequence. Sequences. Arithmetic sequences. Yung 3 at 4 naman, tawag dito, mga geometric. Geometric. Kita nyo ba yung red? Parang di maganda yung red. Geometric sequence. Or sequences, kasi dalawa to. This one, reciprocal lang siya nito. Ng mga arithmetic. So, we call this harmonic. Harmonic sequence. And this one, ay mukhang Fibonacci. Okay. Mukha siyang Fibonacci kasi iba yung starting two terms niya. Pag Fibonacci kasi dapat nag-start siya sa 1 at 1. But this time, it started with 8 and 8. So, but the rule is the same. So, Fibonacci. Fibonacci. Tama ba spelling ko? Fibonacci sequence. 